We're done, Ben. What's up everybody? Back down here in the shop again, ready to try and make some more progress on the lifted all-wheel drive EK. Like I said in last week's video, we're pretty sure we got the front axle situation squared away. We are still waiting on a little piece from uh, like car steps or something like that. And it's just like a little spacer or a seal or something. But anyways, that should be in before we're done with this video. So in the meantime, we're just gonna try and get the back finished up. Still gotta put the pads in here and then do everything to this side. So go ahead and send it over the time lapse. Well, the battery died in there somewhere. Uh, not really sure where, but we just got the uh, brakes on this side done. Then got the pads in and got that line ran and tightened down and ready. And then we got the uh, trailing arm spacers and all that stuff in on this side. Uh, next up, we'll get the brakes done. Also went ahead and did the final torque on all of like the lower bolts and stuff. So that's all good. You'll have to have an alignment, so I just kind of set these in the middle on both sides. And uh, yeah, so do the brakes on this side, and then we'll get the rear off these jack stands finally. Okay, rear end fully done. Every single bolt tight, checked, double checked, ready to go. So next up, we're just gonna drop the lift down, get some wheels on this thing, and get it off the rear jack stands and see how it sits without the actual like lift kit. Lift down, tires on. Look at that positive camber. Man, it doesn't like really show up that good on video. Oh yeah, it does. And in person, it looks insane though. <laughs> Whoever does the alignment on this car is gonna have a lot of fun. I have nothing set even close. Drop it down, Ben, let's see where it's gonna sit at. Right there, right there's where it's gonna sit. Oh, no. -uh. That thing's pretty high considering That's... there's no stress spacer in yet. Uh. Like, well, I think look, uh, I'm, look at <laughs> okay. Yeah, like you can't do that in the front. We're done, Ben. We forgot to pull the jack stands out. I was like, wait a minute, that red triangle's still there. Gotta redo the whole thing. That's hilarious. <laughs> okay, jack stands are gone now. Let's see what happens for real this time. Take it down nice and easy. I think that's out. Yeah, that's it. Oh. The exact same? Pretty much. Jack stands aren't really doing nothing. Cool, well, halfway there. Yeah. Hopefully that piece will come in tomorrow and uh, we can get the front knocked out. But either way, y'all people over here in YouTube world, we'll see whatever happens tomorrow. The piece came in. That's what we needed to make the RSX axles work. Go ahead and get to work putting the front end together.
Okay, a little update on where we're at. Ben went and got a torch because the uh, little spacer adapter piece that needs to go on here. It's a very tight fit. So we're just gonna heat this thing up and then it should slide right on there. As soon as that's cooled down, we put the little rubber O-ring on. We'll smash that side together and uh, yeah, see what happens. Slide all done. Still gotta go through and put all the quarter pins and everything and all of the ball joints and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through and put all the quarter pins in and then we're gonna bleed the brakes. And then I think we're gonna try for a test drive. Finally got this thing on the ground. All four wheels. Filling it up with its fluids. Went from having a ton of positive camber to a ton of negative camber. Because without the uh, strut spacer up here, it puts this at a funny angle and it hits the back of the tire. So when you shorten the control arm here, it actually pulls the control arm bracket away from the tire. Whenever you try and take the negative camber out, it just pushes the bracket into the back of the tire. So it'll just be like this for the uh, test drive, but yeah. Hoping to pull off a lift under its own power here in just one second. <laughs> how does this make you feel? Oh, confidence is a word. So the control arm brackets were hitting the inside of the tires and it's like you had the e-brake on. We uh, put four inches of spacers in the back to get it spaced away from it. Normally you wouldn't have that issue, but since we don't have that strut space, like I said earlier, it makes all the geometry weird. We just want to see this thing drive though, so.
reverse. It seems to go in reverse, okay. Yeah, it does. And we got some major problems. I don't know if maybe the calipers are hanging up or possibly like the torque converter or something. Maybe we missed one of the plugs on the transmission. I don't know. So I guess the next couple weeks will just be uh, like looking everything over and going through stuff and trying to figure out if we missed anything or if there's just something broken that we didn't notice. But yeah, half win. It's getting late, so I guess we're gonna go ahead and in the video here and next week we'll start taking some stuff apart see if we can figure out why this thing doesn't seem to want to go very good but thanks for watching we'll see you next week for another one be sure to like comment subscribe <laughs>